Designing a front panel layout is easy in Target 3001. This example is a board of a fill level telltale having a bended row of LEDs, a potentiometer with a drill for its shaft and an outbreak as well as a lettering. First now select Action Front Panel and have the menu option front panel shown in the top menu. Now start the front panel. Target 3001 creates three new layers. One for the milling, one for the lettering and one for internal documentation. The front panel itself is a bit wider than the PCB outline. In our case 103 by 87 millimeters. It is going to cover the PCB so we place it above or over the PCB. It is also possible to place it besides the PCB. There are several predefinitions you might use for 19 inch housings. We leave them disregarded for this example. Set the grid 0 0.1. If you wish to work more precisely, you may set it finer. It can be changed at any time. If you switch off layers 21, position print, and layer 23, PCB outline, the outline of the front panel on layer 34 in gray remains. For further constructions, we leave layer 21 and 23 switched on. Now we begin to place drillings for the LEDs which have a diameter of 3 millimeters so that a diameter of 3.5 millimeters will be an adequate diameter for the drillings. A click on OK will let you place the drillings now accordingly. Copy and paste it for duplication. Now you see the advantage of the Target 3001 front panel designer because you do not need to take care for the coordinates of the LEDs because you have them already and simply place the milling elements of the front panel directly upon the already existing. In case you wish to work more precisely, you may use a finer grid. Now we switch off the layers 21 and 23 and see how far we have come with our front panel layout. Switch them on again. And now we have the second figure, which is a potentiometer having a 4 mm shaft, and we want to add now a scaling to it. Its form is radial, having an inner radius of 5 mm. The start angle is 270 degrees, and end angle we have at 0 degrees. The scale shall have seven lines of graduation with a length of 2 mm and a width of 0 0.3 mm being placed upon a circular baseline. The dimensions of the lettering we set in the area to the right. After pressing the button Generate Scale, the scale now is fixed to the cursor and can be placed to the handle cross of the potentiometer. If you now fade out layers 21 and 23, we can see the front panel layout up to this point. Now we place a drilling of 4.5 millimeters for the shaft of the potentiometer where you later may fix a knob. Now we want to take a look at the rectangular breakout to which we add 
rounded corners. The height of the breakout is 7.621 millimeters, so that an end radius of 3.811 millimeters at top and bottom of both sides will add to a half round. The width of the breakout is 17.476 millimeters. Now we have the breakout fixed to our cursor and can place it accordingly. The wording breakout is part of the internal information layer and does not get milled or printed. For a lettering now we select place lettering from the main menu and place the cursor at the starting point of the text. A mouse click opens the dialog text options which allows the setting of all text options. We enter the word fill a level and press OK for placing the lettering. A double click on one of the characters later opens the change texts dialog for adjustments of the text. For example change height and width of the characters and press OK. Now you can create the layout in DXF format so that any front panel manufacturer will be able to create one out of your data. Select the menu File, the option Input, Output Formats, File Transfer, Documentation, DXF, Output. That's all.